If you've been struggling to get your forehand and your backhand to look like what the pros are doing, well, you're in for a treat because this video is going to help you. I'm gonna take real footage from a top ATP player. I'm gonna break down the key elements that you should be focusing on. My name is Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution, passionate about helping millions of people around the world. And I wanna give you cutting edge instruction that's going to help you close the gap and look more like the pros. So let's jump into that video right now. Let's take a look at Roberto Batista Agut, or RBA. This is one of the best Spanish players in the world. And I just love his fundamentals. I love his technique. He's classical. You know, there's nothing crazy about his strokes. Uh, it's just built on a solid foundation. He hits the ball relatively flat. And what I wanna do is show you four steps, four steps that you can focus on right now. So the first thing that I wanna comment on is what I want you to notice is as he moves to the ball, look at, first of all, look where he's standing. He is four feet behind the baseline and many players actually stand right on the baseline and that gets him into trouble. He's got plenty of space between himself, the baseline, and even the ball. But watch how he moves to this ball. See how he's moving at a diagonal? I don't see club players moving up to the ball like that. Okay, and then let's see how he recovers. See how he recovers back? I usually see the opposite. I see players starting up here, and when the ball comes, they back up. But this is a real pro, and this is what I want you to do. Even on this one right here, he moves across, but he doesn't move back. Okay, let's watch his positioning on the next ball. So he moves across to hit a backhand, and then watch what he does. He moves it back a little bit right there. See, he, he actually comes back a little bit, and why does he do that? So he can load this leg, but watch his body weight go forward right there. He steps in. Now, he's not coming forward towards the baseline that much, but he is getting on his front foot and coming forward. Let's watch another one. So he's right here, he moves around the ball, and he steps in. Look at that, he comes forward. It's not excessive, but it's there. This one, he doesn't move back on, he stays in place. Now watch this. That one, okay, he might have moved back a little bit here, like a tiny bit, right? But look at where this ball lands, it's deep. I see players when the ball lands deep like this, they start heading, heading for the fence. Now watch this one. Watch this backhand. Here we go, little load, and he comes forward on the front foot. Okay, backs up a little bit, and then he comes forward again. Pretty amazing, right? It's subtle. You wouldn't really notice it if you weren't watching, you know, intently for this. So the biggest, the, the biggest giveaway is right on this one, where he really moves at a diagonal to the ball. And this is what you see the best pros in the world doing. Their movement is precise. Their positioning is precise. And like I said, 90% of players I watch do the opposite. They stand here, and then they back up to hit the ball. Then they run up to the baseline, then they back up to hit the ball. This player is doing the opposite. He's starting deeper, and he's moving up. He's getting on his front foot on his backhand. He's hitting a lot of open stance forehands, but he's not backing up as he's doing it. Okay, let's move to the second step. So the second step is that preparation. And what I want you to notice right here is look at that first move on the forehand. I love how he pulls the arm across. It's not completely straight and locked, which is a good thing. Uh, you don't want to be too tense. He's relaxed and the arm is parallel to the baseline. It doesn't, it doesn't come too far behind him. I see a lot of players trying to emulate players that bring this off arm back to hold the racket and then it causes them to be late. But RBA separates early enough where this hand doesn't really break the plane of his shoulder here. I really like that preparation with his first move. And look at how straight his off arm stays right here until he starts to swing and then it bends in towards his body. So he creates plenty of space. Most players don't create enough space with their preparation. Let's go ahead and look at a backhand example. Look at a backhand here. And what I want you to see is the preparation. Look at the hands. Look at the first move right there. So th there's different ways to prepare the racket. And you can see how the tip of his racket is pretty high. It's higher than I typically teach. But what it shows is that there is range and that there are options. But what I really like is how 
as the ball is coming, the ball has bounced. Look at where his racket is. He hasn't taken the racket all the way back. He's stalking the ball. He's trying to find the ball with his racket. Um, and he's got a nice shoulder turn. Okay, so there's that shoulder turn with the backhand. So his preparation is just solid with his first move. When he makes this move, he's got a nice shoulder turn. If we go back to the forehand, look at the shoulder turn here. See the shoulder? So you see consistent themes where when the ball bounces, look at where his racket is. He hasn't taken the racket all the way back. And this is what a lot of pros are missing. I, mean, I should say club players are missing. Their first move doesn't look anything like this right here. It looks off. The turn's not there, the load, uh, the racket in the right position, the hands, it's just off, okay? So work on your first move, improve it. And you don't have to do it exactly like him. You can look at other models where the racket is a little bit lower. Uh, you certainly don't want the racket pointing down, okay? That's, that's not ideal. I mean, you can do it if you hit great backhands, but most of the pros are not doing that, except for players like Venus Williams who still take the racket down. So different styles with the preparation, but there's a common theme of getting the shoulder turn, making a nice first move. Okay, let's move on to the third step. And what I want you to pay attention to here is the extension. So this forehand, look at, first of all, look at how straight that arm is. Look at all the space away from him. Most players have their arm tucked into their body, but look at that extension. See how the hand goes out towards the target? Fantastic, it also goes up too. I always say that when players are behind the baseline, they need to make sure their hand goes up more. Can't go across, it's gotta go up. So nice extension on that forehand. We'll come over to the backhand now and let's see what he does with his extension here. So he swings and get, it's not like he, his arms go completely straight, but he does get nice extension right there. And let's look at another backhand to see if he does it more. Lower ball, sometimes it's harder to extend. Let's see this one. This ball is dropping a little bit, but still not excessive extension, not like you'd see in uh, maybe Agassi or some others maybe even Nadal, but enough, right? He's getting enough extension through the ball. Fantastic. So most players don't extend well on their forehands and their backhands. I want you to think about that concept as it relates to your strokes and see if you can improve it. And one way to do that is to have a nice compact finish. So that's the fourth step. We're gonna talk about the finish and I want you to see that when he's done, look at where his racket finishes and he, almost catches the racket at the end. That's a big thing that I teach. Players and coaches give me a hard time because I teach uh, this concept of catching the racket. And players will say, well, then you have to, or coaches also will say, you have to decelerate the racket. That's okay, you can decelerate the racket. It's about being smooth. I like catching the racket. A lot of players are struggling by not doing that. Let's see if we can get another forehand here and look at where his hand goes and look at how he lays the racket in his hand at the end. It's a solid fundamental every single time. Doesn't mean he's gonna do it in point play, but he's doing it in his drill setting. And then look at this backhand, look at his finish. See how it's pretty short. It doesn't go wrap all the way around. Now I teach the wrap in, in some cases. I also teach a shorter finish where you can stop right there, but it's very compact. So the finish is compact for RBA, same thing. Finish is nice and compact. Yes, he goes over the shoulder a little bit, catches it, but what you can also notice about his finish is it's consistent. Every time it's the same, and you won't see that with club players, look at that. It's almost the same every time. Most club players will have a different finish all the time. He's just consistent. It's, remember, it's about the fundamentals. It's about being solid fundamentally, and so, that's what you should focus on, a four-step formula where you focus on your movement, your positioning and your movement forward, you focus on your preparation or your first move, you focus on your extension, and you focus on your finish. So there's your four-step formula to focus on, to build strong fundamentals for your forehand and your backhand. It doesn't have to be complicated. Where you're getting in trouble is you're focusing on the wrong things. And I hope this video brought you a lot of value today. And if it did, go ahead and leave us a comment or a question below and make sure that you give us that thumbs up. When you give us a thumbs up, it spreads 
the love. It helps other people find out about this channel. And also to take that next step with me, if you really think I might know a little bit something about tennis, you can go ahead and click the link below or somewhere in this video to pick up a free membership. No credit card required, no strings attached. I'm gonna give you 21 free lessons around the serve, the forehand, the backhand, strategy, doubles, uh, mental toughness, injury prevention. It's all inside the free membership that I'm offering you today. This is your next step on the journey. If you think I can help you get to the next level, go ahead and click below or somewhere in this video. We'll get started taking that next step.